for shit. You know why I, I, I'll never accept or take when people pile on me and they're like, yo, Ak, you're the reason why this... You know, a lot of people in Chicago try to blame me for genocide, right? Like, they said, Ak, it's because of your page why people died. It's not because of other... It's because of your page. Death is such a heavy burden to carry. And, you know, I tried many times even getting on and entertaining it by going on Clubhouse to try to talk about shit like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I've talked to FBG Duck's mom multiple times. I remember when she she had told me, hey, listen, I ran into King Von's, um, I think it was her daughter. Was he, Is this his daughter or something like that? And it was like, hey. We had a moment, and, and she really feels it was some divine intervention where it's like, despite whatever it is, the innocence of a child, you know, n knowing with certain, like, it, it was kind of whatever, but I guess I only say that to say, man, um, in people trying to, you see, when it comes to Chicago, the people who try to blame and try to say you're oh, you're responsible for murders, none of them are going to be here today to answer these conversations. I see a lot of y'all niggas, and there's some of y'all who are chat niggas too, who be making mad clubhouse rooms. Oh, act talk about what you did like 20 years ago with like the Warren Shire, right? Blah, blah. I hope all y'all understand that all y'all just hip, and that's why I've stopped even playing into it. You see what's going on here, bro? That's, this is nothing to do with academics. There are clear people who can you, you put it like this. If y'all niggas, whoever on Clubhouse or whatever the fuck y'all be having these little thing pieces, what she's talking about right here is a feud between two groups of men. Y'all know who these men are. I don't got to bring it. I don't got to say it. She's been hurting for a long time because of that. Not saying her son was an angel. People who was involved or or didn't like her son is what. But I watched a lot of people, especially from Chicago, try to blame it. Like, this has zero to do with me. This is the mom celebrating that the FBI done caught the niggas who killed the person who was her son that she brought into this world. She's not saying, oh, I'm glad the FBI finally, like, yo, shut down academics platform. She's saying, I'm glad the FBI finally caught the people who murdered my son in cold blood. Look, look at her reaction. Look at and, and despite if, you know, you know, it's hard for me to even speak on a, a lot of certain stuff with this because I won't lie. The only thing I've, you know, my only part when it comes to a lot of this shit is like, man, I, I ain't going to sit here and play like guiltless. I like drill music, but liking drill music means you're probably encouraging people to make music that is disrespecting people that died, disrespecting people or encouraging death. It is what it is. I've never, ever shied away from that. And I always say, you know, there's always a little part of blame that I'm always take for that. So when all these motherfuckers try to like blame, you know, you'll never see one thing piece. My nigga, like, like I don't, I don't want to sit here and be a cop. I'm not no cop. But, bro, just look at what has happened in the last 24 hours. For all the people in Chicago who said, Ack, you did blah, blah, you do blah, blah. Nigga, look in the last 24 hours. You have a mom literally saying, there's these five niggas who the cops told us they killed my son. This is what she's saying. There's another person who killed himself. There's clear sides when it comes to this shit. Not one of these motherfuckers who was like super like pressing act, not one of these motherfuckers is going to be like, yo, bro. Maybe we got to start analyzing some of the effects of, like, even some of the stuff that we like or maybe the people we like. Not one of these motherfuckers, bro. Not one of them. Like, these niggas was trying to attribute a genocide to me. Yo, act, you gave niggas nicknames. I never gave FBG, FBG Duck a nickname ever in my life. I never gave the niggas who killed him a nickname ever in my life. I never talked down on either or. Like, truth be told, at that point, like, it was just, I think I covered some of the really like early, you know, when Keith was that when Keith by the time Keith bounced him from from 
like Chicago, I was a lost. I was lost with a lot of this shit. He bounced. Um, 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 Lil J got locked up. I was lost with all this shit. And this is why I was just tell y'all, like, yo, really, yo, you know, this is why sometimes I realize, man, my my problem is in engaging. Because I sat there and and I'm, I'm down to always take accountability, but I look at shit like this and I'm like, yo, this is a big moment in hip hop. I don't gotta draw no, I don't gotta draw it out. Y'all niggas is seeing what's happening. This is the mother saying, them five niggas killed my my son. Y'all know them five niggas who they rock with. Y'all know who they represent. Not one motherfucker is gonna come out and be like, this shit fucked up. Not one motherfucker, bro. But let academics had given nigga a nickname. They were gonna be like, oh, academics got niggas killed. Nigga, they ain't no FBI inquiry about me. I'm just being very honest with you. I look at shit like this and I'm like, yo, this is like, this is exactly why when, when I'm like, yo, I sometimes I feel like having a conversation is making me be a part of the solution. But nigga, if you're not having honest conversations, you're just putting your you put your neck on the table to get chopped off as a scapegoat for everybody who is on clubhouse and i don't know like yo facts or whoever the hell be on clubhouse all the time take this audio and play it on there for everybody who be chicago would up Y'all on my head told my act, yo, nicknames, and you making fun of blah, blah, got this kill. Yo, you just had a mother literally finally celebrating that five niggas killed her son, and she getting justice. When y'all niggas gonna be like, yo, bro, truth be told, we can't support their music, period. Because they just, they were involved in the murder. Y'all niggas ain't never said that. But when it come to academics, y'all be like, yo, well, is act really good for the culture? Y'all all about that. I'm just showing the hypocriticalness of, a, of it all. When it comes to like, nobody going to look at the music of the people who may have been responsible for the murder and be like, ah, oh, nah. No, but when it's academics, yeah, I do talk about that. This is exactly why, like, you know, in a lot of inner city communities, I look for scapegoats, not really answers. I look at this shit and I'm like, damn, I know what it is. I don't have to fucking point it out and put it on a thing. But you see, everybody who had an issue with academics talking about the war in Chirac, not a motherfucker will actually talk about this. How much I want to bet? How much I want to bet? I want everybody, like, everybody who had a problem saying academics got niggas killed. You don't hear a mother up there. I've talked to this woman many a times. She's not up there saying academics got my son killed. Academics was making an environment where my son was going to get killed and he was not, she's not saying that. You know what she's saying? The FBI told me the individuals who were involved with pulling the trigger to take his life and they're going to jail. There's even another clip where she's like, yo, I don't even want them to get no death sentence. I want them to suffer. That's what she's saying. But for everybody who's talking about Chicago, 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 not, I want, I want the same people who have pointed the finger to my academics, academics, academics. Will they sit here? And again, I don't want to be like, I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to be on no police shit with it. But like, nigga, you know, like, you know, nigga, she's, first of all, she's naming names, not me. And I can say naming no names. She's naming names. She's naming people. She's making the accusation. She's telling you what the FBI said. The people who have demonized that yo act has created this violent cyclical thing with the Warren Chirac, where are they now? I'm gonna be on Clubhouse tomorrow. I just wanna be listening in the room because I got nothing to do with this. I wanna be hearing in the room of people condemning the niggas who allegedly targeted this man, pulled the trigger, took his life. But how much I wanna bet me that that it's not going to be there tomorrow how much i want to bet i'll be looking at shit like this and i'm like yo it's sad that niggas just look for a scapegoat 
put this on Clubhouse. I seen, I forgot the name of these individuals who are like, yo, I, I grew up in these communities, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, if you grew up in these communities, you should have definitely heard or felt the, 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 the residual effect of the death of FBG Duck. His killers is now being arrested. I need you to have the same energy that you had for somebody who has never been to Chicago like me. I need you to have the same energy. I need you to have the same energy like, yo, listen, we're going to go hard and make sure these niggas is convicted. But y'all ain't going to have that same energy. You know what y'all going to do? Y'all going to basically make excuses. Y'all going to do all type of shit because all y'all look for is safe people that y'all could be like, those are the scapegoats. Because it, it, it doesn't allow you to look in the mirror and say, this is what we're doing. I want to point this out. And, you know, I'm, I be loving my platform at times because, you know, I could make anything the trending topic. But everybody who's ever, and, and, and this ain't, like, I don't have no problem. Like, I love Muwap. Let's just, just put it out there. I love Muwap. I know he's one of the people charged. I don't have no problem with him. But for all the people who have always misplaced blame, y'all have talked about so much death and killings in, the, in Chicago. We got a death and killing in Chicago that the FBI, because Chicago police do not solve nothing. The FBI stepped in and they solved. And y'all have always tried to like, oh, why this niggas, niggas, you remember when I was in that clubhouse room, niggas like, yo, yo, if Ak wasn't doing the Warren Chirac, it wouldn't be, he wouldn't be encouraging niggas to kill. Let me tell you this, truth be told, nigga, I didn't even know what FBG Duck was. So you ain't never seen no video of me like encouraging niggas. No, not at all. So when they can't blame a nigga like academics, who they going to give blame to? Will they give blame to the niggas the FBI locked up? Not a chance. They going to make excuses, and I guarantee it. So if you, in uh, like, what's that nigga named Fax? Bring that on Clubhouse tomorrow. Let's see who's going to blame them niggas and be like, nah, we going to be there with the mom until them niggas get sentenced. They're not going to do that. It's easy when it says academics because you know why? They'd be like, oh, yeah, we not, he not part of what we doing. Fuck him. He's a nigga who's a scapegoat. So facts, all y'all niggas who on Clubhouse who be on these little group conversations, this is a real-life example for Chicago. You feel me? This is a real-life example for Chicago. And I ain't trying to say too much because, like, you know, I, I have, like, I do have somewhat of a relationship with, like, even Dirt. But, like, come on, think about it. Nigga, Dirt made a song called Shoulda Ducked. Like, come on, dog. Y'all niggas was blaming the whole Chicago shit on me. Like, I killed niggas. Come on, dog. Like, you hear this mom. She crying. She not crying about what I reported. She crying about niggas still. Like, nobody's going to really deal with that real issue. But remember, everybody was so quick to say, yo, I, you gave this person a nickname. This person. Well, we got a real current situation right now. We got a real current situation of basically the police have just said that these motherfuckers is, is responsible for this nigga's death. I don't have to put dots together. Y'all niggas is smart. Y'all know what, what what's up. Are y'all going to hold the same people to the fire if y'all really care about black on black genocide? If y'all care about genocide within Chicago? I haven't done the war in Chirac in years. Nigga, I'm going to do a video tomorrow. It won't even be on the war in Chirac. I don't even know if I got access to that page anymore because now they want us to do two-step authentication. So man, I just haven't ever logged on that page. It's just been a while. Will the same niggas who was laying the blame at academics' feet come out and be like, yo, I'm going to be honest with you, any nigga who done violence or who pulled the trigger in Chicago, like we going hard against just like it was a nigga like academics who never, ever killed a nigga, never, ever been charged with murder, nothing, nothing like that. Let's see if it's going to be the same situation. I'm here to bet that it won't. Because here's the thing, niggas look for scapegoats. And I've been a convenient scapegoat a lot of times. But let's just see. We'll play for shits and giggles. Let me, I'm going to get off stream right now. I, for all the YouTube pages who fuck with me, period, bro, I'll give y'all the 100%. Y'all have, all, like, uh, like, you know, sometimes people be fucking with y'all rights and shit. Y'all have the 100% um, um, rights to y'all uploading this or re-uploading this and basically saying, just have the title as something as everybody got an academics when he was quote quote doing the war in Chirac and giving nicknames. The feds have came in and said these niggas have killed this woman's son. 
I need y'all to keep the same energy. The same energy ain't kept. Y'all, y'all could know what it is. Niggas was looking for a scapegoat. Good night, y'all. I love y'all so much. And I'm going to wait, and I'm going to look. I'm going to be on Clubhouse all day tomorrow. Let me see if we can have some of those conversations. Because all them Chicago people I was talking about, act, 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 act. I want to hear them have the same conversations about some people who actually did the killing. Not the nigga who did the media. The nigga who did the killing. The nigga who had the gun, who pulled the trigger. The nigga who took somebody's life. The nigga who had no remorse, cold-blooded. I want that person to sit up there and do that. But I guarantee if they in Chicago, you know what? And by the way, I ain't going to say that they should do it. Because in reality, they're scared of their own fucking, like, uh, I'm the nigga who they know ain't going to do shit. But I guarantee they won't speak on one side or the other. But until they do, this is why, like, I won't engage or I won't even accept any more blame for when a nigga talk about the Warren Chirac. Because when y'all see actual murderers get convicted or get charged, y'all are mum. Y'all don't talk about it. Y'all act like it's normal. And until then... Don't ever talk to me about the war in Chirac ever because I just pointed out a real case where there's five people convicted or being questioned right now for murders that happened in the city of a legit big rap artist. And y'all can't mention nothing about the war in Chirac. His shit was way clipped before that. Y'all ain't got no scapegoat and y'all won't talk about the niggas who are charged. You know why? Because all y'all are pawns and a sheep to the whole system. And really, y'all are really scared that some shit might happen to you, which is definitely, I understand that, but don't come blaming on a nigga out of town. I ain't never been to Chicago. I get it. You know, my coverage sometimes it was like whatever, but y'all was acting like I was killing niggas in there. I didn't kill FBG Duck. I didn't rap about FBG Duck getting killed. I didn't taunt it. Everybody who, who, who Mama Duck is talking about is not anybody who I know. She's talking about people taunting her son's death, people who's talking about her son's death, people who are giving up information about her son's death willingly. Ain't got nothing to do with academics. I just want the people of Chicago, if they claim they're not about all this murder, murder, kill, kill shit, and they were trying to blame all this shit on me, let's go have a whole conversation tomorrow. I'm going to be at Clubhouse for the whole day. Just ping me. I just want to be in the room and listen to y'all. The, the, great, the greatest thing about me, I don't ask a nigga to have court for me. I, I have court for my niggas. If, you, if you're from Chicago, academics voice ain't nothing. Y'all supposed to have court for your own selves and y'all supposed to re 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 resolve and remediate all that. So tomorrow, I just want to be a fly on the wall. Let's see if all the people from Chicago who claim they're not into the violence, taking out some of the great rap artists, let's see what they, they, they say about it. If they don't say a motherfucking thing, I don't want to hear another thing about Warren Chirac. I love y'all, chat. I'm out of here. Um, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Um, y'all see the episode being pressed in the morning. But remember what I told y'all. Any clip, put it on YouTube. Let's see. Y'all ha everybody had a problem with the war in Chirac. Why? What about when there's a clear case of the feds coming in saying this happened to this person? Hey, the feds even said it. You know what the feds said? The feds never said, oh, we got this from academics video. The feds said, we got it from y'all rapping about it. The feds said, we got it from y'all being on Instagram Live. Y'all was talking about it. The feds said, yo, we got it from basically y'all was too cocky with it. So for everybody who had a problem with the war in Chirac, if you don't call that out, and maybe it's because you're scared of some shit, well, it's just telling me I shouldn't engage with you because now you you won't call out anything you scared of, but you feel you're not scared of me. Why? Y'all know the energy I'm on this year. If a nigga don't respect me or y'all feel like y'all just talk down to me, I'm not engaging in no conversation with y'all. Tomorrow, if the conversation ain't all about the same way how everybody tried to jump me for the war in Chirac, don't mention me ever again in life in history about nothing about how I cover the war in Chirac, okay? Because just like how the news cover it, blah, 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 Y'all don't have court when actual alleged killers get arrested. All right. Until then, I'm out of here. Sayonara. I love y'all. See y'all in the morning. And um, it is what it is. All right. Clubhouse, all y'all Chicago niggas. If y'all don't talk about this like how y'all talked about me saying I was killing niggas. Like that was so ridiculous. Y'all said I killed niggas. So they got the niggas who killed niggas. If y'all don't talk about them like how y'all talked about me, y'all straight pussy, straight up. Let me get the fuck off, off of here. You feel me?